problem because uh, uh, you, you're, you're working low and it's really, really tough to do that. So if you can modify and do something like this where it's larger and better, your chickens are going to like it as well as you. Now there's a lot of elements that have to be had over here. Like for instance, they have to be fed. So this right here is a way that they're fed. You put them in this container right here, the food falls in and then they can just feed and eat away. Now over here we have in the back, we have a trough. See this trough right here? This trough has fresh water coming out of containers that are UV protected. Now a lot of people will end up using these kind of containers where the water flows through here and then the, and then the chickens will pick at this and water comes in and they'll use this. That's cute, but the problem that we found with this is that when you have so many chickens, you got to be careful about that because they end up really destroying it. So there's a lot of room that's right here. And you can see this one. See this one going in there? Isn't that kind of cool? You have, you have yourself a stair step that goes in, and then they can go in there. They could roost. They could do whatever they need to do, preferably give you eggs. And chickens are inquisitive. They need to be kept busy. So that's the whole reason why there's this straw that's right here. And you just kind of put it out. They will peck at this. They will just take and throw it all over the place. And they're so fun and inquisitive it's just beyond belief now you would think that the material that we have here uh, is meant to keep things from coming in and it kind of is you don't want any big critters getting into your into your chickens but if I can get this over here you're probably used to this kind of material right here which is what we call chicken wire or poultry wire this is usually typically what we do, but this cage was built with this hardware cloth, which is a little bit uh, for the needs that are over here are really pretty cool. Now, you also have to remember this. <clears throat> there are a lot of burrowing critters that will want to get into something like this. So you, uh, this particular coop was built so that it goes down and there's metal that actually that goes around the stainless steel about 18 inches all the way around. This way nothing can burrow its way in and under to get the chickens. Chickens are a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever said the word chicken so many times in my life in a segment, but they are definitely worth it. You do have to be careful though because you have to check what your local cities and ordinances to decide and find out how many chickens you can actually grow because your chickens they need an ample space to, to live and <clears throat> you have to be also be careful because you act, you're not supposed to have a rooster. I don't know if you knew that or not. Roosters in many cities, they're actually against the law. And when they're little it'll be baby chickens, you don't know whether you got a rooster or not until they get bigger. So kind of kind of be on, on the on the lookout for something like that. So if anybody wants to talk more about urban farming in the garden, give me a telephone call. 1-800-405-NICK.